Hello, I'm Talia Carew and welcome to my lesson on the relationship between a gas's pressure and its volume. Robert Boyle, an Irish chemist, discovered Boyle's law. This law states that the volume of a gas changes as the pressure of the gas is changed while held at a constant temperature. The gas needs to stay at a constant temperature because temperature change would adjust the pressure and the volume of the gas. Boyle proves through a series of experiments that this relationship between a gas's pressure and volume is an inversely proportional relationship. This means that when you double a gas's pressure, you decrease the volume of the gas by one half, and inversely, when you decrease the pressure by one half, that doubles the volume. The formula used to express Boyle's law is P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. This formula states that multiplying the initial pressure and the initial volume of the gas equals the new pressure times the new volume of the gas. If you are given three of the values, you can solve for the fourth unknown value with this formula. Here's an animation to help describe this gas law. The temperature is set to stay constant. If we add an initial amount of pressure, to our set volume and then keep adding pressure eventually the top of our container will pop off because of the increase in pressure. If we reset this demonstration inversely if we start with an initial amount of pressure and decrease the volume, the pressure goes up and increases. And if we increase the volume, the pressure greatly decreases. Let's try a practice problem. This is from the textbook on page 443, number 2. The pressure of a sample of helium in a 1.00 liter container is 0 0.988 atm. What is the new pressure if the sample is placed in a 2.00 liter container? So in order to solve this problem, we must start with what we know. We know that 0 0.988 atm is our initial pressure, or P1. We also know that 1.00 liters is our initial volume, or V1. 2.00 liters is our new volume, or V2. The variable we are missing is the new pressure, or P2. These variables are then arranged into the previous formula of P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. To solve, isolate the unknown variable turning the equation into P1 times V1 divided by V2, which equals P2. Then plug in your known variables, which are 0 0.988 atm for P1, 1.00 liters for V1, and 2.00 liters for V2. In order to solve, cross out your canceling units, which are liters, and you're left with your final answer of 0 0.494 atm as your P2. Always check to make sure you have the correct number of sig figs. In this case, we need 3 because of the lowest number of sig figs in our given information is 3. Plus, always check to make sure you have the correct unit. Since the question is asking for pressure, it makes sense that the unit we end up with is atm. Thank you.